Sales Training Manager Ryan Taff writes a great article about ADD, that's Attention Distraction Disorder. Now he says that more and more distractions creep into our lives every day, the constant onset of technology, connections, human nature, and it's amazing we really get anything done. And you can read his article on Jeff Shore's sales training. In fact, as I was preparing for this video, my cell phone was ringing, my office phone was ringing, I was getting text messages and people were sending me Skype messages like a machine gun. Hi, I'm the business guy and I've run a business since 1991 and today we're going to talk about six ways to kill distractions and skyrocket your sales. And you wanna to listen to all six and pay special attention to tip number five. And by the way, if you are watching this on YouTube, please click the like button below. And you can also click the subscribe button so when more videos come out like this, you'll get notified. So how do you stay focused on sales when so many people and devices are fighting for your attention? How do you stay focused on what you're doing, on your task? So here are six steps to kill distractions and skyrocket your sales. Number one is to have a plan. Now this may sound really basic, but many people just show up and go through the motions every day. So what if at the start of every day, you take a sticky note and you stick it on the edge of your computer and you put on, on there a number. How much are you going to sell today? And hey, when you get in your car and you start driving and you don't have a place to go, why the heck are you getting in your car, right? So you don't start the day until you have it finished. Have a goal, have a target. And hey, even if you don't hit your goal, you'll likely sell more by having one than by floating down the river like a dead fish all day. So have a number and do what it takes in a good and honest way to hit it. Number two, stop multitasking. Research clearly shows that multitasking actually limits your capacity for execution. Focus on one thing at a time and watch your sales skyrocket. Number three, set clear boundaries. Now, you train people how to treat you. That means you need to let would-be attention thieves know when you are available and do not respond when they bug you during your productive time. Number four, be accountable to somebody. Just like getting better workouts when you have a workout partner or a trainer, get somebody to keep you on track and share your goals with them. How much more could you earn if you really had somebody to ride your butt every day and keep you on track? Number five, hit the off button. Now, in a recent video that I just posted a little while ago, I reviewed the Netflix special called Social Dilemma. And one of the best things that I saw in that movie was the suggestion to turn off notifications. So I went on my cell phone, I tapped settings, notifications, and one by one I turned off every notification except for phone calls and text messages. Or sometimes I just turn the phone off altogether, right, like right now. Hey. If the skinny kid from my old high school clicked like on the puppy picture I posted last night, who cares? That's not gonna help me make my house payment. If I must, I can check my Facebook feed at eight o'clock tonight. Number six, get help. You can learn from some of the most highly productive people in the world by listening to their audiobooks, reading their books. So read or listen to people who have learned how to master their time. So the biggest takeaway is this, focus. Set a goal each day, ignore everything else, and focus on your goal. This is The Business Guy.